Yo guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about something actually that I was looking for for a while now and due to some circumstances they couldn't be delivered but today we're going to talk about Wavemaster Sound Bass 2.0 Bluetooth speakers and these one look really appealing because they can be placed anywhere just check out the design. So yeah we're going to talk about specifications, details, design and everything else so stay tuned. Now when we're talking about standard technical specification these Wavemaster Sound Bass 2.0 are two channel two-way stereo sound system two built-in amplifier channels it has the Bluetooth audio system for wireless digital signal transmission so we have the Bluetooth 2.1 and above connectivity you have 25 millimeters Miller balanced dome tweeter and you have 11.5 cm coated cellulose cone woofer on the right side you have on standby and volume level plus bass and treble tone controls uh, at the right side panel input selector for line and bluetooth sources line input with RCA sockets headphone output with, with 3.5 mini phono socket frequency range is 50 to 22,000 hertz and the amplifier output power is 2 times 15 watts RMS. The system requirements are analog stereo source with RCA or mini phono thermals or Bluetooth audio system. So basically you can connect them to anything has those possibilities for connectivity. Now when we're talking about the backside of the right speaker, the connectivity and everything, you have the RCA connectivity, so line input, you have the uh, possibility to connect the left speaker which is kind of normal and usual and you have the AC power on and off switch with the standard power cord to connect it to your power socket. On the left side you have the volume knob which also is a multifunctional button when you press it and you can adjust the on off and source so if you hold the button uh, for longer you you will switch it on or off or if you're just pressing it you can switch through sources the next volume knob well the next knob is basically treble and then you have the bass and right beneath it you have the possibility to connect your headphones to 3.5 millimeter jack on the other speaker you only have the possibility with the black and red cable to connect it to the other one which is the main one and that's it now the interesting thing about these speakers which you can already see is that you can remove the front uh, grayish part which looks kind of cool if you're going with the whole living room theme with the wooden part and the grayish part which always does look nice and elegant and as you can see as I already mentioned the 25 millimeter Mylar Balance Dome Tweeter with 4.3 inch coated cellulose uh, cone woofer right here at the bottom. Now this can be basically easily removed and placed back depending on your design or however you like. It has a nice subtle Wavemaster logo on the left speaker and on the right speaker which is really cool and it doesn't have anything shouting out Wavemaster which as I already said a couple of times in my other reviews that I really like a nice subtle brand logo nothing too much going extreme and stuff like that the top part would be a nice touch if it was complete wood design but this looks also very nice because the three color combination is just nice now what you get in the box except for the two speakers of course is the cable connectivity so the connectivity between two speakers and you get line input with the 3.5 millimeter uh, jack that you connect to your computer so first of all I'm going to connect these speakers with uh, together and then we're going to switch to Bluetooth because I'm going to use my phone just to check out all the sound and everything else so as I said red and black cable these are actually really thin cables so if you want some uh, better quality I would uh, suggest uh, changing the cables but it's all up to you and what are your preferences switching and switching it on at the back and let's see so I have my phone right here let's see it has here a LED light that indicates that it is turned on uh, switching between the different modes is like this so you just press it once and basically that is it if you want to switch it off completely then you hold the button and 
the LED turns to red. When you want to switch it on, it switches back to the green LED. Now, I'll try to find it here with uh, my uh, iPhone and to see how the connectivity goes. So pressing it once switches to Bluetooth mode, which the LED goes to blue and then you refresh your phone, of course, just to find the Wavemaster Base 2.0. Uh, here we go, Waymaster Base. So for my Cube Mini here, it says uh, WM Cube Mini. For these ones, it says Waymaster WM Base. There we go. When you connect your Bluetooth uh, device to your speaker, you get a notification, of course, on your phone, and the LED stops blinking blue. It st it stays constantly in blue color, so you know the connectivity type. So you have the volume you have the treble and you have the bass so let's check it out so okay my phone is connected directly to the webmaster bass speakers and currently uh, it's epidemic sounds uh, spring gang better place uh, gripe remix and here we go so you can adjust the volume right here of course it depends also on your phone on how the sound is based here then you can adjust the volume here you can adjust the treble let me just... As you might have heard, uh, you can nicely regulate the bass, the treble and of course the volume depending on the volume level on your device that you're reproducing the uh, sound to your speakers. It's fairly easy, it's shame that they don't have for instance a remote control like I have from the uh, Neo Cube Mini uh, speakers but it's still a nice addition if you're having something to place in your living room and you can uh, play everything through your phone so let me just okay so you can play everything through your phone or any other Bluetooth device which is really nice the bass um, you can expect uh, something from a hundred euros uh, speakers that the bass will be extreme of course depending on the sound but since we're also talking about the microphone on the camera which can't actually uh, grab the bass um, you might have noticed slight differences uh, when I was switching here bass and treble the treble might have been recorded nicely but the bass definitely uh, didn't I don't know uh, as for the speakers they're really nice set for your living room and I already mentioned it a couple of times uh, the design is great there are no uh, edges that are dent uh, or there's some uh, missing parts like uh, the glue and uh, how they were attached everything is just perfectly nice and I'm saying for a hundred euros two speakers two times 15 watts RMS with additionally possibility to connect it through the AUX 3.5 millimeter jack uh, connectivity whatever you have one simple cable to connect both speakers which is fairly long I mean I didn't even unwrap it fully and I would say this is around 2 meters altogether you get additional cable with 3.5 millimeter and 2 RCA connectivity for the line input of course the only possibility to adjust everything is here on the right side of this main speaker uh, 
which is quite alright still I mean okay it would be much better to have possibility with uh, remote control but if you connect this to your I don't know television or something if you have a, a smaller living room and these speakers would do just fine then basically pump up the volume uh, to maximum and adjust everything through your TV so then you don't have to have additional remote control just for the speakers bass, treble, everything is nice uh, the treble does really make an effect when you uh, switch it from low to high and the bass, well basically you can notice it and it gives a nice subtle bass just to add additional crisp, let's put it that way, to the music and everything you're listening to. So for the price you pay 100 euros for these two speakers with and all the connection possibility, uh, the way you're going to use them, if it's a smaller living room or um, setup, this will be perfect. I mean, I'm using the Neo Cube Mini, I forgot to mention that I'm using Neo Cube Mini speakers for almost a year and basically I switched from my 5.1 surround sound to those because they have really direct sound, a really nice bass you do have to you know turn the volume knob a lot to get because it has loads of sensitivity but then again the the sound is just pure and there are no problems with the membrane and uh, no uh, additional noise except for the sound that you're basically playing and there you have it guys to pimp up your setup definitely recommendation to get even more higher quality and remote control you get the Neo Cube Mini uh, but do check Wavemaster Sound below uh, with the link uh, so you can check out the, the other combinations because you have a 2.1 set uh, with additional subwoofer and loads of other speakers that you could choose from so thank you for watching today's video don't forget to check the links below see you next time in another one bye bye